Calling from a 509 area code. Who's this? Sam, this is Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan. Hello, Ronald Reagan. Um, How are I'm gonna you? Need more than, I'm going to need more than two minutes. Well, you yeah, get... I'm going to need more than two minutes. So okay. um, just so you know, I'll be finishing my call with some frank and apologetics. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Sense. Bring it on. Uh, not really. Um, but that seems to be what you need to do if you want to get some time on this show these days. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Sam, do you notice anything different about me right now? I do a little bit. It sounds like you have a new, uh, less um, uh, less quality phone. Um, well, actually, um, I've got the mindset. Oh, is that right? I was going to say, you also sound yeah, like you're a little that- bit more uh, sort of like confident. Yeah, um... You know, I'm just over here, like, I got a really good stance going, and uh, my posture is pretty good. I'm acting kind of cool, but, like, not too cool. Right. And uh, I actually did spend uh, a good portion of last night reading The Gorilla Mindset, and I just thought I'd tell you about it real quick. Please do. Um, so I got the book to call in and read it as sort of like a joke, and then you did that same thing on Chapo, so it kind of uh, blew that but so i decided to just read it and i was expecting it to be terrible but not like completely terrible and incompetent in every imaginable way so uh for example he quotes wikipedia uh he defines uh he, he quotes the wikipedia definition of uh mindset the word mindset <laughs> And I was like, wow. okay, that's a, that seems a little that seems like a loss. little lazy, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, this guy's ten years out of law school at this point, supposedly, um, and I mean, everybody knows you shouldn't do that. And then, like three pages later, he does it again. He requotes the Wikipedia definition of the same word. <laughs> um, anyways, it's. Uh, riddled with uh, typos and he keeps quoting Tony Robbins. And again, it's like the same quote of Tony Robbins. And like, I'm not uh, delusional enough to think I could write a self-help book, but if I gave a stat, you know, if I gave a stab at it, I wouldn't just quote somebody who's like actually a famous self-help person. I would pretend like it was my own uh, idea. You know oh, what in I mean? other words, like, you're saying not even good at who's the best self help writer? Tony Robbins. So I you're should quote him. You're you're criticizing him for having the integrity of of uh, of citing his sources. Is that what I'm understanding? No, I mean he's he's. Uh, I mean, so first of all, I mean the main question I had was how is a lawyer writing a book that is supposed to, according to the cover of the book. It's going to make me uh, rich, happier, more confident. It's like 50 things that this book is going to do. And he only has 175 pages to do it. And how is this guy uh, qualified to to do this? Apparently, he graduated from law school. And he calls himself a lawyer, but I don't see that he's ever practiced law or like been. I think he has. uh, I've I've seen him. I've seen uh, claims that he defended um, uh, actually a, um, I think it was a rapist or a sexual assaulter. So uh, oh, I think that's where he rad. got his tips. Okay. I'm not 100% sure about that, but. Your Honor, yeah, I, so, I defy you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I got really into this guy last night. I was going back and reading his archived uh, law blog, and I listened to an early episode of his podcast where he says that uh, to pick up girls, you should wear red pants. He's got red pants. And he says that, You're going to have uh, to send us that clip. For, You're going to have to send us that clip. He says that, he says that uh, to pick up girls, you need to be fashionable, which is totally true. But he, uh, his phrase is gay minus one. So uh, you should look at the gay dude. Because they're fashionable. Oh, so he's a smart but like, don't be totally guy. gay about it. You know what I mean? Interesting. It's sort of like so, the opposite classic of you, pickup Sam. artist. Gay, but not. Isn't that like metrosexual? Isn't that what that is? Isn't it? Hey, just don't dress like shit. It's very simple. 
Well, I don't think we should get too carried away. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure his interpretation of it is For terrible. For example, red pants. Wear red pants. All right. Well, listen. You gotta have, commit listen, rape. <laughs> Ronald Reagan, you need to send us the clip from that red pants. Mike thing Third of the, dating advice in the First, podcast. Wear your red pants. You need Dan, to send us. Don't back. listen to yeah. no. Exactly. But uh, I do exactly. recommend, uh, here's what I'm going to do for the listeners. Um, I, I'm done with the Gorilla Mindset, the, the physical copy I have, and uh, I'm willing to send it along to another MR listener who's Whoa. looking to improve their life and maybe make more money. So uh, get at me on Twitter and I'll oh, forward it send along you to go the office to see so this thing. Have it as a resource. Uh, what is, go we, to we'll get our own. So. All right. So what is your uh, Twitter handle? Uh, it's at Yakima, Y-A-K-I-M-A, Avogado. That's Yakima Avogado, so. ladies and gentlemen. Now, uh, and I appreciate that, uh, Ronald Reagan, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, that is the final call for the day. Why don't you tweet Ooh. at Ronald Reagan? Here's Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.